If you're anything like me, you've always wondered, when should I harvest my larva? <laughs> All right, maybe you're not like me. Black soldier fly larvae are a premium source of protein, considered one of the best replacements for fish meal. But when should we be harvesting our larvae to maximize the protein content? What is the best larva stage to give as feed for our livestock? Let's see what the research has to say about protein levels throughout the life cycle of the black soldier fly larva. The data is fascinating and it helps us understand how to optimize the use of larva as animal feed. Let's replace expensive animal feed with sustainable larva and grow a blue thumb. Let's take a look at some data presented in a research article published in 2017. But first, let's review their experimental setup. The BSF strain used in this experiment originated from an agriculture university in Wuhan. The larvae were fed commercial chicken broiler feed with a 60% moisture content. Daily feed was provided based on the observed rate of digestion. Samples were taken at various stages in larval development and stored at minus 20 degrees Celsius until the nutritional analysis could be performed. The feeding process was stopped when about 50% of the larva reached the prepupa stage. Now let's take a look at the data presented. The first graph shows changes in dry larva mass. The dry mass peaks at the early prepupa stage, which is when the larva stops eating and searches for a safe spot to pupate. The dry mass of the larva then decreases sharply before stabilizing throughout the pupa stage. This may be due to the fact that the larva has stopped eating in the prepupa stage, but is still moving around and thus probably using fat reserves. This is also supported by the data on crude fat content that shows the same decline within the prepupa stage. There is also a small decline in fat content during the pupa stage that is likely used during the process of metamorphosis. Looking at similar data on the crude protein content, while the maximum protein content is achieved at the early pupa stage, protein content remains fairly high between day 14 of the life cycle all the way through the pupa stage. So when should we harvest our black soldier fly larva as an animal feed supplement? Well, the data seems to suggest that the highest combined crude fat and crude protein content really occurs at the early prepupa stage which is very convenient for most larva producers because at this stage, the larva can be self-harvested as it tries to climb out of the organic waste and searches for a place to pupate. The optimal stage for harvesting your larva may depend on the application. If all you care about is maximizing your protein, then maybe the pupa stage is the most ideal. However, there are some studies that suggest that high levels of chitin can limit the growth of some types of livestock. This suggests to me that perhaps harvesting at the 14 day mark prior to the pre-pupa stage might be more ideal in some applications. There are many other factors to consider as well, like what stage is best for maximizing minerals and vitamins in the larva, as well as what stage is best for maximizing beneficial bacteria to improve animal digestion. We will continue to share what research we find on these subjects so that larva producers know how best to supplement their animal feed. So if you want to know more about why black soldier fly larvae are a key solution to recycling our organic waste, take a look at our introduction video. If you want to know more about the experimental results discussed today, I left a link to the article in the description below. At Blue Thumb Designs, our aim is to share free information on agriculture technology that we think is worth spreading, so we can become better stewards of this planet. In order to go green, we need to start thinking blue. We need to grow a blue thumb.